what's up everyone welcome back to my channel so for today's video i created a super easy brown smoky eye when i say easy i mean easy no glitter no cut crease nothing extra just some lashes liner and brown eyeshadow so if you guys want to see how i created this look then please just keep on watching but first make sure to hit the subscribe button if you aren't already subscribed and also hit the little bell button below so you guys can get notified every time i upload a new video now that we got that out the way let's go ahead and get started So for today's look, I'm using my Morphe and Jaclyn Hill palette. I haven't used this in a while, so I figured why not break it out. This so the first two colors I'm going to be taking are these two shades right here. And I'm just going to mix them together with my brush to just kind of create my own color with those two colors. So picking it up on a Morphe E17, I'm just going to push these colors into my crease area. Once you have a good amount of product on, that's when you want to start blending it out. So going in with my Morphe M433 and just lightly blending the edges. You guys are probably thinking, oh my god, where is the transition color? But I'm going to be putting the transition down after I blend this out just a little bit because I wanted to do something a little bit different today, like kind of try a different technique. Lately where I've been putting down the darkest color first and then blending it out with my transition color. I'm not really sure how I feel about it yet but I'm giving it a go. So as you can see, I blended out that color just a little bit, and now I'm going to be taking this brown color right here with my Morphe M513. I know the shadows in the Jaclyn Hill palette have names, but I don't have the card that came with it, so I apologize. So I'm just picking that up, like I said, on a Morphe M513. Not too much, just enough. Tap off the excess, and then going right on the edges and starting to blend that out. And now this is where the transition color is going to peek through. So now that I have some of that transition color down and the shadow blends out a little bit more, I'm going to go back in with my Morphe M433 and those brown shades that we use for our crease. And I'm picking it up on this brush and I'm going to further blend that color out. So this step is where you're really going to start blending the edges out and we are going to go back in with that transition color just to give it a little bit of more pop so it shows. So this step is the most important because this is where your shadow is really going to blend and start looking wearable I'll say so you don't look crazy with unblended eyeshadow. And when you have a little bit of less product on the brush that's when you can just bring it out a little bit at the tail of your eye. And you can just see how much more blended that is than before. Now I'm going to go back in with the Morphe brush and the transition color and just pop that back in. So after we pop that transition shade back in there, you can see that this upper crease area has really dulled out because of the mixture with the light brown. So now I'm just gonna go back in with the same crease colors and just make sure that it's intense. So now that we have our crease nice and blended, it's time to pop on our lid color and I'm gonna be using this brown shade right here. It's really pretty. So I just picked that color up on a Morphe M156. This is such a good lid brush. It is dual ended, which I really enjoy because you get a flat shader and then a smaller detail shader. So I'm just going to put this all over my lid. There's no cut crease, nothing too fancy, just popping it all over. I think the fact that there's no cut crease for this look is what really makes it so easy to me. Because I'm so used to always doing a cut crease and now I didn't, I'm like, wow, this eyeshadow took no time at all. So I'm just going back in with that Morphe M433 and those crease colors and just lightly going over the edge of that lid color. So I'm going to go ahead and add some wing liner and I'm using the NYX Matte Black Liquid Liner. I love this eyeliner. It's like $6 and it's so good. Going in with this dark brown color right here and a Morphe M433, I'm just picking up a little bit of that color and just putting it right here. This step is not necessary, honestly. I don't even really know why I did it, I just did it and then I'm like, alright, well now I gotta do it to the other eye. So if you don't want to do this step, you totally don't have to. So for my lashes, I'm going to be using the Esquito Lashes in Midnight Symphony. 
So I'm going to go pop these on off camera and do my foundation and concealer. And then I'll be back to finish off my face and my eyes. So I'll see you guys in a sec. So now that I'm back and looking super pale, I'm going to go ahead and finish off my under eyes. So I'm going to take this dark brown color right here, which is the same dark brown color we've been using. And I'm going to take it on an angled brush, put this really close to my lower lash line. To blend that color out, I'm going to take this brown color right here on a Morphe M506, blend it out. To highlight my brow bone, I'm going to go in with the Morphe 35O and take this color right here. The only thing I don't really like about the Jaclyn Hill palette is that there's no matte white shade to highlight with. I'm going to go in with this color right here. This is from the Jaclyn palette and this is going to go on my inner corner. So for this look, I want to keep my waterline bright, so I'm going to go in with my NYX Wonder Pencil in light. This is my favorite nude eyeliner for my waterline. And the last step for the eyes is just to pop on some lower lash mascara. So now that the eyes are finished, I'm going to go ahead and finish my face because I'm looking like a ghost. I'm going to go in with my Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. I don't know how people do their makeup with their hair down because for blush, I'm going to go in with Milani Luminoso. Of course, this is my favorite blush ever. I like to put a little bit of blush on my nose don't really know why i just do so i'm gonna sharpen up my contour i'm gonna use my airspun powder just take what's in the cap so for highlighter i'm gonna go in with the elf shimmer highlighting powder in starlight glow i never actually used this i used it in my mixing all of my highlighters together video but I never used it on its own, so let's see if it's any good. Honestly, I'm not too impressed by the swatch, so I don't really know what made me buy this, but we'll see. I'm going to go in with Milani Lip Liner in All Natural. And for lipstick, I'm going to go with the Makeup Forever Matte Lipstick in M100. And this is the completed look. Really simple, really easy. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Comment, share this video, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in my next one.